Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is April the 18th, 2020, and every ham radio operator has heard that when you have these big uh, RF tubes like the 4-400, the 3500 z etc., laying around for years, even decades without being used, you have to cook them in. Well, I'm going to show you something that I do not have the answer to. That I do not have the answer to as I'm making this video. But just recently, I bought two of these uh, beautiful 4-400s, and I plugged them into my uh, amplifier that uses a pair of them. And you can see on the right, the one that's blue is not working properly. It lights up beautifully. You can't tell anything wrong with it. There's nothing rattling around inside. It looks brand new. Lights up perfect. But anyway, when you put 3,600 volts on it, that's what it does. Now, there is... Uh, an old tale out there, so to speak, that if you cook these things in for a long time, for several hours, maybe even a day or so, that you can uh, degas them, whatever that means. I think it's a bunch of baloney, personally. And I'm going to say that right up front, and I hope I'm wrong. I don't know the answer to this yet. Now, I'm just showing you a picture on, uh, I'm holding my camera up in front of my monitor right now. That's all I'm doing just to make this easy. Okay, now right after this, you're going to see a video, a very short video, I mean like 10 seconds long, of what happened when I plugged this tube on the right into a amplifier that uses just a single 4-400 or a single 3-400Z. And it lasted about two or three seconds and then it blew the fuse. So you'll see the result. This was instantaneous, by the way, right here. When I uh, applied the high voltage, there was no delay. It was, it was there and pretty scary. Okay, after I cooked it for probably an hour and a half or so, what you'll see in the next video is, are the results of the hour and a half cook. And what you're going to see right after that one is the one that I'm going to show you here in just a second when I take you to the basement. Uh-oh, I blew the fuse that time. Okay, this is my answer to cooking it. I plugged it into a socket, as you can see, and I put a chimney around it. So I can tell you it's been pretty darn hot, and it's been in there for 12 hours. Let's see what the temperature says it is from the outside. It says 208 degrees. I don't find that so darn hot. Okay, let's pull the chimney off. Well, I don't know if I can do that or not. No, I really can't. Okay, let's pull the chimney off. This, this is the first time I've, I've, I've even come down here in the basement since I plugged this thing in. Let's see if it, the temperature is any different now. Still, it's only 300 degrees. Well, anyway, it's been cooking for 12 hours in this. This is a, this is a, a chimney that goes around it. I wanted it to be hot. Uh, you know, I think some people want to cook the filament in for hours and then they want to run the plate voltage up in some slow thing. I, th I think it's a bunch of hocus pocus. And I hope I'm wrong. Well, we're going to see. I'm going to let this thing cool off so I can pull it out. And then we're going to pull it out and go plug it into an amplifier. And we're going to put 3,600 volts onto it and see what happens. Okay, here's the amplifier we're going to test it in. It's cooled down. I've I've uh, shown this amplifier a number of times. Let me show you the little tube that I run in there. Beautiful little thing. This is a uh, 3-400Z. It's the little brother of the 3-500Z. You can see this has had a couple hours on it here because the, uh, the logo is just about gone. But it doesn't have any uh, shadow from the plate onto that, uh, that dome-shaped... Uh, piece of metal down there that's got the serial number stamped on it. Now this is still a very very good tube. It's, you know buying a tube is a real pig in the poke as they say. Now this one's in beautiful true new old stock condition but anyway okay now that I've bragged on that enough 
that's what normally runs in there but I can run a 4 400 in it too the only difference is, is the way I've got it strapped the grid current's going to be measuring the combination of the grid and the screen current but that that's pretty much irrelevant I have not turned it on I'm a little anxious what's going to happen let's power it up okay there it goes Yeah, one of the things you have to do, I'll just let it warm up for just a little bit. The difference between the three 400Z is the uh, 400Z comes with this little radiating cap up here. So you have to take that uh, screw out of the, um, of the parasitic choke that usually comes over to it. And you have to put it back into a plate cap. A plate cap, uh, there's lots of different kind of plate caps. Let me show you here. I usually use these kinds of plate caps right here. These are for the smaller tubes. They work great. These are for the bigger tubes like the 813s and 4-1000s and whatever. Okay, here is the moment of truth. All I gotta do is put high voltage on it. So what I'm gonna do is just simply key this thing right here. When I, when I press the PTT, the press the tongue, Switch, switch here it's going to come on and uh, we're going to see what happens I really hate to do this I don't like doing this this makes me nervous but I'm going to say it once again I've heard for decades that you know from the old guys and I got a lot of respect for the old guys I guess I'm one of them now since I'm 70 been a ham for 57 years uh, but I think it's a, I think it's a bunch of hoopla that cooking these things in will make them work but this is uh, we're about to find out three two one yep see that didn't work did it sadly it did not work I'm gonna do it again oh shit it blew the fuse again sorry Blowing the fuse is a pain because I have to pull the chassis up because I got two screw in fuses right there. Okay, I am satisfied from here to eternity that cooking tubes is bull. It doesn't work. If your tube, when you plug it in, if it glows blue and does all this weird stuff, then just get rid of it and don't waste your time cooking it for another 12 hours. That is my conclusion. I'm I'm disappointed that it's true. But so it is. Stay safe in these times. And thanks for watching.